identity. Nirvana is so bad that people are easy to reach. Their representation on the stage is aggressive. The audience can see cards breaking stuff such as guitar and amplifier. His personality in the stage and off stage is totally different. During his interview, it seems like Kurt is calm and very down to earth. He really cares about his fan club and acts nicely to them, which is in contrast to his stage preferences. <laughs> Kurt is a feminist. He wishes women can have more parts in society. I'm definitely a feminist. I'm freaking disgusted by the way women are still treated. It's 1993, and some people still think we are in 1950s. We need to make more progress. There need to be more female musicians, more female artists, more female writers. Everything is dominated by a fucking mouse, and I'm sick of it. Kurt mentioned stomach chronic pain during the tour in 1991. In utero, they recorded the third album in utero in Pakidam Studio at Minnesota for two weeks. This album released on September 21, 1993. My favorite tracks are "Ovalities," "Heart Shaped Box," and "Dom." It got in number one on Billboard charts and sold for 50 million copies worldwide. Nirvana started touring in United States. They met Pat Smear from the punk rock band called Gems. He joined Nirvana as a guitarist. In July 1993, while they were touring, Kurt was overdosed by heroin. But he was survived by a little help from Kondilov. MTV Unplug, MTV Unplug arranged an acoustic session live performance for Nirvana. It was released later as an album on November 1, 1994. During the live session, they chose not to play their biggest hit. Kurt wants the atmosphere of the show to resemble as a funeral. Their cover led Billy's song "Where Did You Sleep Last Night" for the end of the show. As all the fans know, we can feel the pain and sadness from his voice. MTV Unplugged is one of Nirvana's legendary show. Death. Nirvana does their European tour in 1994, which is their final tour. The final show is in Munich, Germany, in March 1, 1994. On March 3, 1994, Courtney Love found Kurt collapsed in a hotel room. He couldn't wake up. Kurt was unconscious due to the large amount of drugs and painkiller that he used. He was immediately hospitalized in Rome. Dave Grohl was very worried. He told Kurt that he doesn't want him to die. Kurt responded to Dave that he's okay and it's just an accident. On March 30th, Kurt was sent to the rehab center called the Exodus Recovery Center at the Daniel Freeman Marina Hospital in California. It was later called as Marion Del Rey Hospital in 2016. Kurt had escaped from the rehab center on April 1st by climbing over the fence. Duff Macon, member from Gun N' Roses, talked to Kurt as the last person they met at the airport. On April 8th, 1994, an electrician came to install the security lighting in Kurt's house in Seattle. He found Kurt's dead body in greenhouse above the garage. Kurt was found with a shotgun across his body. He had a visible head wound, and there was a suicide note discovered nearby. A suicide note was left beside his body. He wrote to Francis, Courtney, and his imaginary friend, Borda. The police consider this case as a commit suicide. There's a controversy that he was murdered rather than commit suicide. Hmm. This causes the fans to their deep sadness and heartbreaking. Cobain died at 27 years old and had joined the 27s Club. There's a movie called Last Days.、Um, this movie portrays about this incident. Directed by Gus Benson and played by Michael Pitt, it released in 2005. Kurt loves doing artwork. His artwork reflects his own anxiety and his perspective through the world. It is very honest, naive, and childish. At the same time, it is very aggressive. His artwork is a matter, but very direct. He is considered as a fashion icon. He was remembered by wearing Converse One Star, long sleeve thermals, ripped jeans, cardigan, and white oval sunglasses. He was an idol and legend. For me. I will remember him as the greatest rocker of all time.
post Nirvana. Nirvana was disbanded due to Kurt's death. Without him, they can't continue the band. Chris Novoselic is getting involved in political activism. Dave Grohl formed a band called Foo Fighters. It was very、really、tough for him to move up from the drummer to be a frontman. Pasme is also in the band. There's an album released in 2002 called Nirvana. This album features the unreleased songs called "You Know You're Right." In 2014, Nirvana joined the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which featured the female vocalist due to Kurt's love of feminism. The artists include John Jett, Kim Gordon, Saint Vincent, and Lord. The band sold 75 million records worldwide. Rolling Stones magazine puts them on number 30 on the 100 greatest artists of all time. Nirvana released three albums. They influenced a lot of musicians in the following decades. Kurt Donald Cobain, February 20th, 1967 to April 5th, 1994. The end.